November, we've got the All-Star Classic. We've got in December the Cliff Keen Las Vegas Invitational and Iron Man. You're going to be watching the top international NCAA and high school wrestlers compete on Flow Wrestling. You're going to want to keep it locked to Flow all wrestling season. It's only one place where you can watch the best high school, college, and senior level wrestlers, and that's Flow Wrestling. That's right. And speaking of the best high school wrestlers, we got 120 pounders coming up. Here we go. Action underway at 120 in the blue with red trim super 32 finalist singlet antonio mills and he's taking on christian castillo in the usa in the blue and there's a shot mills castillo taking him off the mat with an underhook stall call against mills yes, those college out of bounds rules some high schoolers might not be used to they might uh, be used to be able to have that out of bounds boundary and being able to back out of bounds. Not here. Mills in on a single. Working for a finish on the edge. Castillo trying to defend. Castillo's going to have to attack that lock, try and stomp that leg back down, use that left hand whizzer, right hand to attack the wrist. And now Mills just has one leg, but he captures the far leg. Nothing yet. Castillo, there it is. Yeah, I thought they might have awarded it just a half second early, but then Mills did get into takedown criteria. Castillo on his hip, yep. Yeah, uh, Castillo and Mills broke up a potential teammate finals match. Antonio Mills beat Joe Bachman. We just saw his brother Fred compete, and Christian Castillo beat Gage Botero. So, and nice ride there from Mills. So both these guys pulling off, you know, slight upsets coming into these finals. Mm -hmm. Both these guys, though, top 10 wrestlers in their own right, so not too surprising to see them here in these finals. And Mills working tough on top. Castillo was written out almost the entire third period in his semifinal, was finally able to escape with maybe 15, 20 seconds to go, and that's what won him the match. One to zero. Mills looking to come in the crotch, get big. Castillo turns, faces, and picks up the escape with 38 seconds to go in the first. Mills pressuring forward with that underhook on the right side. Castillo's going to have to circle back in. Christian Castillo, by the way, not his first appearance in the Super 32 Finals. He won this tournament a couple years ago. He beat, I believe it. Aaron Seidel in the finals, and they're going to go off the mat. Aaron Seidel, name we will see here. Actually, I think he beat uh, Seth Mendoza. But we will see. We will see Aaron Seidel. Also a person, and a per and we'll see Seth Mendoza. Yeah, that's right. Now Castillo trying to win a, a title for the great state of Iowa. That's right. If you're used to seeing Christian Castillo with uh, Arizona next to his name, not anymore. He was at Valiant Prep throughout his high school career, but now headed to Ames, Iowa, because he's going to Iowa State next year. And uh, being cornered now by coaches from both Arizona and, well, Iowa by way of, of Oklahoma. <laughs> Chris Perry in the corner for Castillo, and Castillo on bottom in the second period, working to escape. He's up to his feet, fighting hands. Mills trying to follow, and Castillo out. It's 3-2. Shot, Mills on the edge. Castillo turns, faces, and Mills does a good job circling back in. There's a shot, a nice drag from Castillo. He's so good there. There's a takedown. And they're out of bounds. It's 5-3. Christian Castillo getting to one of his best point producing moves, which is that, that defensive drag. And man, he got to that quick. Yeah, and it's because he was able to get his head in between Mills and his legs, not just his hands, but his head as well. If you're a young wrestler watching that, don't be a threat. You throw your head in the fight. Get a down block. Castillo and Mills back to the hand fight. A minute 15 to go in the second. Mills has continued to get to this right side underhook, but hasn't been really able to use it with much effect as of yet. Castillo with that head position, making that underhook hard to Hard to manipulate. Underhook to the shot now for Mills. Castillo locked through the crotch and they're on the edge. So both guys gonna wanna be aware of where that out of bounds line is. And stalemate with 
43 seconds to go. Mills working from space, looking for an opening. He's doing that shoulder pop. I the first time I saw somebody do that a lot. It was probably Jordan Oliver. Yeah, he's one I feel like that really made it popular. Fifteen to go now. Castillo, fake level change and ten seconds. With that potent reattack that. Castillo used. Wonder if that makes Mills just a little more hesitant to fire off his attacks. And I, men I mentioned how Castillo uh, was almost ridden out the entire third period in his semifinal. He got an entire period right out right before that in the second period, so he's tough on top. We'll see if he commits to this ride here. Antonio Mills up right away, and he gets his arm between the lock of Castillo. Castillo, Matt returns him, and Mills right away again to his feet. Castillo, another Matt return, and sometimes it's that second or that third return that, that can break a guy. And didn't break Mills, he got right back to his feet again. They're gonna come back, get set. Only 13 seconds gone by here in the third. Mills to his feet. Castillo lifts, hard return. To his feet again is Mills. And Mills gets to his feet, but he, he's, I don't know, he's a little too content to work towards the out of bounds line, in my opinion. You're fine, you're doing fine, let's go. Hey, he needs to give, give himself some space. Back to his feet again. Castillo returns, this time Mills rolls, he's out. We got ourselves a tie match. It's 5 5, 90 seconds to go. Who's going to go get it? Castillo taking Mills towards the edge of the mat. There's an underhook throw by. Shot Mills. Castillo looking for that go behind and out of bounds. Action is the call. No stalling. Shot Mills. That's a good safe attack there for Mills. Not likely to get run behind, but also not going to get real deep. And now he is deep. He's in on a single, trying to cut across double. Castillo with it. Wizard. Mills trying to pull him back in. Castillo grabs that wrist. Similar position to how Mills finished in the first. He's going to have to capture that far leg. Now he's pulling Castillo back in. This is smart, this is smart. And Castillo just stomps the leg back down. Man, smart wrestling there for Castillo. He attacked those wrists of Mills and I think that weakened that grip. And now Castillo pressuring on the edge, 17 seconds to go. Could this be our first overtime match of the night? Looking that way. Two on one for Castillo. Two on one snap attempt there, five seconds to go. All right, sudden victory. Any point wins it. You gotta be aware of stalling as well. Castillo has been warned. Shot Mills. Castillo trying to pull him up into an underhook. Mills cuts back. Castillo with the wizard and he's gonna roll through. Castillo passes that leg, they're out of bounds. Chip Ness is in the corner for Mills. He's gonna challenge this. They're not gonna give him the takedown. No, reaction time. That right there is the difference, the, one of the main differences between really good high school wrestlers and really elite high school wrestlers is having a guy 99% taken down and then still just finding an ankle, finding something to roll under or grab onto and not give up that takedown. The way Castillo is pacing on this mat, you can tell he doesn't believe he's done wrestling. He's he's pretty sure that uh, there was no takedown. And they're going to take a look. They're going to review it. 
Bob this time? What do you think? Think they might know who he is now? <laughs> it's nine times still. You kind of feel like momentum might start be trending a little bit towards Mills. He's come really close here in overtime and right before overtime, but like I said earlier, close doesn't get you three points. And it seemed like Castillo had a slight advantage when it came to the mat game. Yeah, it did. You know, he, he was persistent in that ride for a long time and Mills eventually got out. Mills, I mean, explosive in that bottom position eventually. And, um, you know, so if it goes to ride outs, it does feel like Castillo will have the advantage. And here's another look, he cuts him back, but you see Castillo goes right to that whizzer. And then as they're going down to the mat, Castillo rolls and you can see Chip Ness in the corner. He's fired up. Couple time All-American there for North Carolina. And he threw in the challenge witch. They, are, they do have witches sometimes. Okay, that one was a witch. That was a witch, yeah. It's a spooky season here in North Carolina. Mm-hmm. Yep. There's a live look at our official who's checking it out, making up his mind, trying to decide what to do here. And I think, you know, if, if you're Mills, you want to get the takedown in this 41 seconds, assuming it comes back. No takedown, but you can't get over eager and forget about the down block reattack of Castillo. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, zooming out, there are some, some bigger picture implications for this match because both Castillo and Mills were a little bit, you know, further down the rankings from, from a couple of the other guys. And it's one thing to make a run to the finals, but you want to be the guy that, that gets it done and wins and gets your hand raised. And so, um, you know, a lot rides on this challenge, obviously, because match is over if if they overturn the call. But bigger than that, I mean, if, if this match is not over, you're wrestling for your spot in the rankings. And here we sit. All right. So call is confirmed. No takedown. And here we go, 41 seconds to go. Sudden victory, any point wins it. Under hook for Castillo, he's marching forward. Mills, level change. Ooh, well, slide by action and Mills hits one of his own. Neither of, us, neither of these wrestlers appear to be tired whatsoever. No, they're they're plenty. They've had plenty of rest mid match, and out of bounds. Looking like rideouts, JD. Yep. So referee will flip his coin for first choice. Mills is going to go underneath first. See Chris Perry telling him, return him hard, bounce him. <laughs> and you got to watch out for that standing Granby that Mills hit. Yeah, there he is. Puts that hip right down to the mat, just like Coach Perry instructed. And Castillo trying to keep him in bounds. Mills trying to get out of bounds, and now they're off the mat. And, you know, earlier... We talked about Mills maybe a little too quick to go towards the out of bounds, but in this sudden victory or this this ultimate ride out period, you know you kind of want to have that out of bounds as an option for a restart. So Castillo returns. Mills trying to get back to his feet. He's back up. Castillo looking to return. Five seconds left, and there's the return. Now Castillo with his opportunity on bottom. 5-5 five, five, if he can escape and avoid giving up a takedown. He's going to win this. And Mills is just going to cut him loose and give himself 30 seconds to work for the takedown. Okay. Interesting choice. He did ride Castillo for a bit in the first. He also may be thinking about, you know, earning a point via stall call. If he can shoot Castillo out 
That might earn him that stalling. And Castillo just going to try to stay right here in this chest wrap, stay inbounds. Yep, keep Mills those toes is, in. It's interesting. Mills is trying as hard as he can to get out of bounds, <laughs> which is fleeing, but is sort fleeing. of not the spirit of the rule. I don't know. Mills moving forward. Castillo's got to be aware of the stall call. And there it is. That's going to tie the match, I believe. Didn't I, he get hit? I think that's just his first. Was it Mills that got hit earlier? Okay, so. That'll there do it. it is. Christian Castillo, 6'5". He's your winner. He's going to get his second Super 32 belt. This time it's at 120 pounds. Two gritty performances there to end the tournament for Castillo, both in the semis and the finals. Yeah, Christian.